Good afternoon, this is Patrick Egan on the 11th of September and just bringing you an update on our previous recommendation on the members area earlier today. Um, it was for the 430 at Foss Less, uh, a competitive uh, class 3 handicap as it says here. And we elected to uh, lay Safarana, which is E. Dunlop's entry. It may find stepping up from maiden class into such a competitive handicap a little bit tough. Um, the favourite, Henry Cecil's uh, horse, is bred from Galileo, the Derby winner, and at first attempt in Handicap Company, it finished under two lengths, second to Midnight Oil, which finished a close second in the Class 2 Handicap yesterday. Matalib is extraordinarily highly priced uh, if it reproduces last year's form when finishing second to four-time winner Verdant in a 12 furlong Class 2 Handicap. Uh, other dangers that have proved themselves in this class or above are Enroller, Classic Vintage and in view of all of this uh, taking a price of 5 on Betfair which would be equivalent to 4 to 1 or below on Safarana prior to or in running seems to present reasonable value for a net return of 2.38% assuming um, that all 7 of the 8 still run uh, if there are any withdrawals we advise not to transact so let's switch over to the media centre um, and see how the race unfolded and they're off a mile and a half the trip for the Celtic Pride handicap a little slow to strive with Matalev the others away pretty much in line mm -hmm. uh, Classic Vintage has a narrow early Saffron advantage Saffron is in the uh, pink platinum, right there top with the a white cap let see if we can pick him out for you out wide of Zaffaran. and then Matalev and the back marker held up, dropping back some two lengths away Lee is in Roller, they cover the first the furlong and a half, running classic vintage makes fifth. the running for Frankie McDonald. the ex-French trained platinum shows in second place for Ryan Powell, Givry is in third, close up, just ahead of Prataris in the cross belts, and then in the maroon and white colours, uh, Paul Hannigan aboard Zaffarana, looking to give Ed Dunlop a quick double on the card this leading group then race in advance of Mataleb who's held up last of that main group, and then the back marker by a couple of lengths Martin Dwyer aboard Enrola. So well down the far side of the course and they're racing to the final mile and the pace still set by Classic Vintage has about half a length to spare from Platinum in the blue and yellow colours on the white outside in the red is Givry just tracking them close up against the fence as they continue well down the back straight is Prataris and then there's a length further back to Zaffarana she's followed in turn by the yellow and blue of Mataleb and then the, just a break of a length or so back to Enrola. The pace has just been an average one as they head towards the end of the back straight. Classic Vintage just extending the advantage to a couple of lengths as they make this left-hand turn. Rataras nosing through on the inside to dispute second with Platinum. Then a line of three on the inside Matalev out wide Givri between runner Zaffarana and then held up last of the group is Enrola as they now make the turn back towards the home straight and they have uh, just about five furlongs to travel as they swing. I think the pace will start quickening home, now so let's see how Zaffarana Responds. Vintage turns first, um, two currently still in fifth. Pushed along on the outside of Prataris is Platinum. Jivri makes ground on that one's outside. The improving towards the inner is no, Matalev. Safran has got an awful lot to do and from there. At the back and Classic Vintage continues to go well as they head down inside the and last three. As you can see, it's been niggled along. So Safran, as suggested Prataris in this company, is finding it a little bit tough. There's a four-length break back to Jivri and Rollers make good ground in the blue and white. So let's just stop the video there. And Not see what the uh, result of the event was. Um, Classic Vintage, uh, who was in the lead there, led all the way, um, won the race. Um, Safarana uh, came six from seven, so another successful uh, lay suggestion using the cash tap ISA. On this uh, particular occasion, we ourselves were unable to get all of um, the suggested uh, um, lay price in running but most of the members did um, achieve in a 2.38% return on that event so as I say another successful um, lay uh, recommendation using the cash tap visor so thank you for listening.